Hi, Mike Mitchell here with Intimidator. This is a walk around video of our 2022 GC1K Stage 3 shown in metallic gray. We are inside our studio in our manufacturing facility in Batesville, Arkansas, which is where we design and build all of our products from Intimidator, UTV, to Envy Neighborhood Electric Vehicle, and Spartan Mowers. Now we have a saying with Intimidator, we put weight where it matters. Everything is heavy duty built from the roto molded plastics, which is a structural plastic, same process that Yeti coolers are made of. It's a lot stronger than a liquid injected or a vacuum form plastic to our metal underbody skid plates. Yes, we use metal and not plastic. We have a heavy duty inch and a half by three inch mainframe with our front suspension is built off of a ladder type upper and lower inch and a half by inch and a half frame rail that's actually counter levered that goes through the main frame rail and that's welded a little bit further back for additional strength. Most manufacturers will take a plate of steel and put a couple bins in it and butt weld it and they call that good. Ours is a lot stronger. Inch and a quarter A-arms with a 10 and a quarter slip on rotor, large calipers on all four corners, and even the steering knuckles are twice the weight and they're much larger than standard UTVs. Weight adds strength and the size adds leverage. Although this model is equipped with power steering, if it does not have power steering, the larger it is, the more leverage you have, the easier it is to turn. Now, stage three is our flagship. It's gonna have 28 inch eight ply DOT radial tires. It has this large front bumper. The worn winch is an accessory. It's a factory installed accessory. The stage three comes with Elka shocks, which is a performance shock. And it comes with a couple other features like uh, a reverse light and you know of course this has power steering and and tilt steering and all that good stuff i'll get to in a minute now all gc1k intimidators you have a hood latch and so you simply pull it and the hood will pop open like a vehicle our electronics are mounted high and dry you can see the battery is is uh in the center your fuse box and relays are mounted up and they're easy to get to. The radiator is pitched back, which pushes the hot air down. It also allows for plenty of room to easily install a winch. There's the power steering unit. All right, so going to the cab. The GC1K comes standard with roto molded doors. There's a latch on the inside and outside. Just open it up. You have tons of leg room. You have a nice seat. It is a traditional bench seat, but it's defined enough to hold you in place. Now I will add that this is the 3rd of January, 2022. And we, as well as just about every manufacturer are still running into a lot of supply chain issues. Um, we are having to make substitutions. We try to keep them minimal. And if we have to, of course we don't want to, but if we have to, we try to keep it minimal but we also want to be able to supply our units to our dealers and to our customers. The demand is way higher than we're able to build. And so you may see some changes here or some features here that are a little bit different than your dealership. And it could be because it's a different stage. It could be because we had to make substitutions. So you have cup holders, you have storage, more storage. Now for 2022, we put our Envy display in there which is a touchscreen display. You have a clock, your date, um, your RPM gauge, mile per hour, odometer, hours, fuel. It tells you engine temperature, battery voltage, and what gear you're in.
so it gives you a lot of information. You have high and low beam headlights here. I'll get to your four-wheel drive system in a minute. This has an electric bed dump on it, and this is a switch for the winch. So with our four-wheel drive system, it's shift on the fly, four-wheel drive, so you can, if you're driving along, if you need it, you don't have to stop. You can just uh, just switch it in. We use a Team Industries rear differential and a Hilliard front. So they're both very large, good companies. And this is a push button locking rear differential on it. So if you keep it unlocked and if you keep it in two-wheel drive, you're only going to have one rear tire spin. That's what some manufacturers call a turf mode, which is better for grass as long as you get traction. If you need the rear end locked, you just simply press the button. It's going to lock it 100%. If you need your front to turn, you just simply do that, and that's going to shift it into four-wheel drive, and that is going to allow both tires to pull equal as long as you're going straight. If you turn a little bit, it's going to allow the inside tire to slip just a little bit. Otherwise, if it doesn't, it would be 100% locked. And if that's the case, it, it would push it through the corner. It would be very hard to turn. So if you would jack up your unit, um, get all four tires off the ground, get someone in the driver's seat, put it in four-wheel drive, and hit the gas, you physically cannot grab a front tire to stop it like an open differential. It's going to pull it out of your hand. So it's a lot better than, than like a posi lock. And you have a charging port here. Of course, your dash shifter. We'll turn this off. And it is a rear, it's an electric bed dump on it. You have an electric actuator. So you just press that button on the dash and it will dump it. It's uh, rated uh, for a thousand pounds in the bed. And uh, you have uh, 2,500 pounds in towing for our GC 1Ks. Have your brake light up top. You can see the Elka shocks, two inch receiver hitch that's built in, that's welded in. Again, look at the size of, of our hubs and, and rotors and, and uh, calipers and all that good stuff. Now the GC 1K, is a thousand cc 83 horsepower 60 to 65 mile an hour option if you don't want to go that fast we have other options but this right here is designed for someone who wants to use their units for work during the week or weekends and they could take it up trail riding um you know on on the weekends or, or whatever so it's a very good strong unit uh, for work hunt and play it's what we do. This is the TGB engine. Here's a, a good cutaway of it. So you can see it is a V-twin engine. TGB is a large manufacturer of four-wheelers and, and uh, UTVs and other items. Um, they make uh, uh, quite a few units in, in Europe and it's a very good company. We've been using TGB engines for, for a long time. And this is available in, again, the short wheelbase that you see. It's a three passenger. You can also get it in a crew cab version, which is a six passenger. It looks like this, but it's extended with a three, uh, additional bench seat in the back. You also have this available in a truck series, which is built on the crew cab chassis. So it's a longer wheelbase, but rather than the rear seat in the back, it has a six foot um bed on it with folding sides it does dump on the gc1k we do have a truck series available on our diesel engine option with the diesel it is a fixed bed that bed does not dump we also have this available in an ac powered brushless electric and a cooler 750 gas engine both those have a different body style the 750 is designed as a diesel engine alternative. It's a 30 to 35 mile an hour unit. You have um, high torque at low RPMs, just as you would with a diesel engine. So it's good for um, farming and, and work and stuff like that, but it is not good if you wanted to go 
spin the tires and go fast up, you know, steep mountains and deep water and all that good stuff. You know, it's more designed as a work and farm vehicle, but it's a very big market. We sell quite a few of those as well. For more information, visit intimidatorutv.com or please swing by your local dealer. Thank you.